guys, it's Kay and happy holiday. I'm gonna show you how to make a craft. This could be for the holiday. You could give these out as gifts. You could also do it to uh, keep up with how your child is growing by um, placing their hand or their footprint on these stones. Also, the third thing, you can make little stepping stones for outdoors to put in your yard or your garden. So, you have three options. Well, I mean, this is a really good craft to make. You could do it with any of the three or for all of them. So, okay, um, stay tuned. All right, bye. Okay, to start, what you will need is salt. Next thing you will need is flour. One fourth cup of water. A straw. A first step, we are going to grab a half of a cup and put a half a cup of salt and put that right into the bowl. Next, grab a half a cup of flour and put that in the bowl. Okay, last thing is to add that water and grab something to mix it all with. Okay, now let's get your hands in there and get nice and dirty. We have to knead this until the dough forms, okay? Now it's time to grab the wax paper and let's place this on top. I'm just going to use my hands. <laughs> Much easier. Okay, so just flatten it to the size that you would like. Just flatten it to the size you would like and try to get it as round, perfectly round as possible. Okay. Okay, so this is about the size that I'm looking for. And now the what you want to do is grab like a plastic knife like a head or you can also grab like a chopstick and just write whatever you want to write on the stone. Make sure you write it on before you start cooking it, okay? And just write whatever you like and then do the handprint. You get the child to place their hand right in the middle here, right place it down and get a nice handprint in there and then you bake it uh, make sure you bake this for a good three hours about three hours on 200 okay so bake at 200 for about three hours and then it should be done okay one last thing also after you do the handprint and you write on it and you put it in the oven and you cook it and bake it and everything's done you can also if you don't want it just plain like this just plain flower color you can also paint it so grab some paint paint it do whatever you want with it get creative okay and this would make a great Christmas present um, also it's a good thing to just do every year for your child to see how they're growing you can do their hands you can do their feet you can pretty much do anything or just do a stone for out outside see how I did with mine, I did like a marble look and then I did my initials on it. You can do anything on it and drew a heart. Oh. oh, lastly, that just reminded me after looking at that one. Lastly, grab a straw, okay? And don't go too far to the top, but kind of right there and just get that straw down into the dough do this before cooking it also take a little peek to make sure it went all the way through and then just bake it okay the reason for the hole is that's where you can put a uh, string so a nice decorative uh piece of string you can put and hang this up or 
put it on your tree. This could be an ornament. Okay. Alrighty. So All righty. Alright, so there you have it. Three simple ingredients and you have a nice little craft. So I hope this video was very helpful for everyone. If you haven't done already and you'd like to see more of my recipes and crafts, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or requests, leave them down below. You can also follow me on Facebook at Good Looking Cooking with K or on Twitter at Cooking with K. I'll see you guys next time. Happy holidays!